This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys? Vincent here from the creative Hope you're doing well out there. Today's quick tip video, I want to talk to you guys about the new properties panel within the new After Effects beta as of version 22.2.0 x29. So again, this is part of the new beta version of After Effects. You can download it over in the beta section within the Creative Cloud app. And so with this new version, we have this new window. Under window, you'll find the new properties panel right here. And so basically it is pretty much a panel similar to Illustrator and Photoshop where it actually brings up very, very common properties per your layer. So if I go ahead and select my shape layer, you'll see that we have some basic controls. The first right here is for the layer transform. So no matter which layer you're selecting, whether it's a solid layer, a shape layer, or a text layer, you know, whatever layer you have, you'll bring up the layer transform at the very, very top. And this includes basic properties like position, scale, rotation, opacity, and anchor point. And so this way, rather than toggling through all these little menus, I go to transform and taking up all this valuable timeline real estate, you have access to these controls instantly within this panel right here. And this panel can be moved, you know, wherever you want with the left side, right side, bottom side, you can dock it pretty much wherever you want. And so you don't have to toggle all these kind of drop downs to access any of these properties, which is really awesome. And so not only do you have access to the overall layer transform, which controls the overall layer, you also have layer content. So kind of search for the contents of your layer. In this particular case, I have three groups which are my shapes. And in these groups, we have a path, a fill, a transform, all that stuff right here. And so again, um, rather than going through the circle right here and toggling that down, toggling the fill and finding the fill and changing the fill color here, um, we can actually go ahead and select our shape layer. It automatically scans for our shape layers and all of our groups. And so we can find our circle, click the circle, and instantly we have access to all of our properties right here without having to toggle all this stuff down, which can be a huge pain in the butt if you have hundreds of shape layers, hundreds of layers, text layers and all that stuff. You don't wanna clutter your timeline space. So just select your layer, boom, you guys instantly have access to you know, whatever it is you want doing. Or if you can go ahead and double click on your shape, boom, instantly you have access to all the fundamental properties of this particular shape layer. So if I wanted to go ahead and change the fill color from a green to a white, I can easily do that right here. Select a nice little white color, hit OK, and I can do all that without actually dropping down the drop menus and cluttering my timeline. And so you have some basic properties. For example, you have stuff like size, fill color, stroke color, if you had a stroke on there. Um, and you also have um, access to the shape transform. So you can actually go ahead and select a shape layer and actually move the shape layer around within the actual layer itself. So I can go ahead and shift this this way here and kind of move it around. Now the cool part is all this is actually key frameable. So you can go ahead and actually select your shape layer that you want. You can actually set a stopwatch for any of these properties like size, move forward in timeline. You can actually go ahead and decrease size and you, know, you can add keyframes this way. You can go ahead and delete keyframes. You can pretty much do everything that you would expect within an After Effects interface. You can also go to your shape layer and actually select all of your shape layers and actually manipulate all the properties at once. So if you select all three shape layers, you can go in here and you'll see the kind of like a little minus icon to kind of show you that multiple layers are selected. And you can actually go ahead and change the shape color or fill color to anything you want. You know, update it for all the shape layers. You can go ahead and change the size, scale, um, and it will kind of automatically update all the layers that you have selected. Um, so this is a very, very nice convenient way to kind of manipulate everything and just kind of access the properties that you commonly use for shape layers and whatever. And it's really interesting to see kind of how this will evolve over time as they have add more features. So obviously this is a beta version, so there are some bugs. There are also some limitations as of right now because this is not the final release yet. Um, one of the limitation is that not all the shape properties are added into the properties panel right now. And secondly, some things like shape modifiers and stuff like trim paths are not really available in the properties panel, which is a shame for now, but I'm sure they'll add it in the future. So if I add a trim paths right now, you're gonna see that this really isn't gonna show up in the properties panel um, as of right now, but I'm sure they'll add it soon in the future because this is a very, very common effect that people use and a common property people use with shape layers. Um, just kind of look out for that. There are some things going to be added in the final version once it comes down to the final version of After Effects, I'm pretty sure. Before I go, I want to give a quick thanks for our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the one platform to create amazing website with for your store, online business, or portfolio. If amazing theme to choose from, fully customizable so you can make it the way you want it to look like without having any code or knowledge required. They have awesome 25-hour support, 
And best of all, if you use the promo code DOJO at checkout, you can save 10% off your order and support the DOJO. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash DOJO. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So this is kind of just a quick little overview of the new properties panel within the After Effects beta version. I'm sure when the final version comes out, this will be a little bit different. This will be a lot more refined, obviously, and there'll be more features added to it. But download it now and try it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe for more videos like this. My name is Vincent Wynn from The Creative Dojo. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.